Hey there, Postal here. Alright, let's take out ye old F-84B. I really enjoy this plane. It's been a hot minute since I've played it, though. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get ourselves stuck into. Tier for tier, I think this is actually better than the Tier 10. And if you've seen my previous videos on the Tier 10, I really enjoy the Tier 10. So, um, you know, stats-wise, this is actually the stronger of the two planes. Um, so let's see what we can do. What do I like about the F-84B? Well, for me, this is a postal kind of multi-role plane. And that means that it actually is a multi-role. A lot of the multi-roles in this game are, um, you know, fighters, actually, honestly. They're just fighters that have some air-to-air -air rockets, or they're fighters that have a couple low impact bombs attached to them. Uh, you're looking at you, bat wings and Jawas. Uh, but this is a multi-role in the truest sense. Uh, right now I'm able to dogfight because this plane can do that. It has good maneuverability, not great, but good maneuverability. Um, it has a ridiculous amount of ground armament, not like overwhelming, but enough to get the job done. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a comm center as a fighter and completely own the skies, and then you still need something to happen on the ground for you to be able to um, actually take the sector. So hopefully I can do some damage to this guy. Oh, maybe he's up to the target, isn't he? So, shenanigans! I forgot to put myself on um, screen mode for uh, so we'll probably hear some beeps. There we go, got it. So the guns are 50 cal machine guns. Um, like so, so many freaking American, oh, pay attention to the map, like so, so many, um, of the American fighters in the game. And so, you know, you just have to be used to that type of gunplay. Um, you know, they, they take a while to do damage. They are very good at setting fires. They are very good at, um, you know, honestly, they're very good at taking out light fighters just because... completely spray and hold down the trigger and not have to worry about overheating. Goodbye, sweet cheek. Um, that's not good. Ignore my singing. It's not why you're here, probably. Um, anyway. Let's go ahead and get to the center and then we'll move on to the comm center. Tempest can be a pain in the butt, just because it's kind of uh, maneuverable. Uh, much like me, it is maneuverable for a multi-roll. Um, but the biggest difference is I need to stop boosting. The biggest difference is I've got a ridiculous amount of boost that Tempest only wishes it had. Alright, so we've got... Let's get our boost on. Get up to this uh, ME209 plane I just uh, featured a few days ago, or last week I guess it worked. Very solid plane. Man, speaking of a day late and a Reichsmark short, there you go. Freaking definitely just a little bit too late here, right? Oh, flip a dip a butt in the flip a crap. You son of a bitch. I thought he had disappeared. I thought he had left. That really sucked. Probably should have turned up towards it. No, no, turned it up towards it would have been a failure. The so. enemy has captured the command center. Don't let them gain a foothold. All right, turn this crap around, shall we? Maybe, hopefully. Uh, but this plane can definitely do that. Um, we can do a little bit of everything. So let's go do a little bit of everything. Let's get our freaking act together. Uh, I was thinking I wouldn't be so rusty coming back into this game, but I'm definitely, uh... Let's do it in that much otherwise. I'm going to be looking at almost 500 miles an hour. In a multi-roll, I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? There we go. Let's get rid of some of these guys. I want to hang on to my bombs and rockets if possible, just because I think we're going to be getting this sector anyway. All I need to do is, there you go. Let's go ahead and push to that. Let's get them over to there. We need to get the sectors back. 
perfect. Oh wait, what? It's a different sector. I thought we had. Um, can I? Can I take this sector with just killing there? Yeah, there's no like crazy planes right now, so I can probably just take out some of these guys. Das Wusten engaging. Go. Excellent. Moving on. Hoping that they would have at least been putting a dent into there, but oh well. Who needs dents? Or I to eleven. I to eleven, like many of the Soviet multi-role planes, is only really scary if you're in front of it. Otherwise, it's not very scary at all. At least any of the like tier. Uh, Seven and above ones. How freaking high up do we have to go? Uh, I'm wasting my energy there. So let's go get this B. Let's just kind of cruise. We're catching up to him slowly. Let's save our energy. Just kind of being. Uh, wasting energy mode, which is bad. Go, keep our guys alive a little bit. No, I don't have time for you. I need to get over here. Let's use some of these rockets that have been holding on to for so freaking long. to frickin' capture this zone. Like, how difficult? I mean, I know it's the zone right next to them. Give me a break. Got one frickin' rocket left. Let's reload. Cruising around. Luckily, nobody's near us, so we can cruise around here at 130 miles an hour. I think I've gone faster in my car. Don't tell anybody. All right, good. Let's get our boost on. Air supremacy. We've turned that around for sure. Sorry for my lack of commentary there. I was trying to focus, and I've got a 40-year-old brain, and, you know, sometimes just need some size of oxygen. Let's go ahead and get, yeah, we've got, we've turned around the game completely, and you can do that in an F-84B. Um, you know, it's what it does. It's not, like, spectacular. You're not going to do anything particularly, like, number one. Um, and that really goes for a lot of the American planes, right? You you might not necessarily have the best of any of the planes at your tier, except for probably tier tank fighter. But um, and I guess tier ten heavy fighter. Not think about it. Uh, but what you can do is be really really well balanced, and you know this showcased that. I uh, dog fought when I needed to be a dog fighter, and I was able to use my significant ground armament to be able to flip, flip sectors, and you just couldn't do that if you were in a normal fighter. Um, you know, a lot of heavy fighters, yeah, might be able to do that um, as far as like the ground armament is concerned and being able to take out heavy chunks of bombers and GAs. Um, you know, so heavy fighters have that kind of flexibility, but this has the flexibility of taking out those multi-role planes a little bit easier if you get stuck into a dogfight, things of that nature. So. Not a, like the world's most crazy battle by any means. 11 aerial targets knocked out. Um, you know, just just a well-balanced game, which is what this particular plane leads to. I didn't realize this was an all-bot game, but they tend to all be when it's this early in the morning uh, now with my new work shift. So, yeah. Yeah, so 
I really, really enjoyed this particular plane. The line itself was a little wonka do. Uh, for me, I definitely did not um, enjoy the tier 7 and tier 8. Um, but I probably was playing them wrong, to be honest. If you've watched uh, VBAT's videos, um, you know, he kind of shows a better or more accurate way to fly those planes. I haven't gone back and tried to fly them. I like the tier 6 and below, to be honest, and I'm really um, probably going to be, well, I'm definitely going to be buying them back at some point. I, I did enjoy these planes. I enjoyed most tier 5 planes in the game, though, so don't, you're asking me the wrong thing. So, these two planes, though, are worth whatever kind of grind you're going through. Most people don't like these three planes. The F-84s are both really worth it. Um, same guns that you have with these planes here, but on a much more mobile um, or maneuverable platform, which allows you to get them on target. Um, you know, when you're having to you get stuck into a dogfight with another multi-roll, which you can you can survive pretty well because of the maneuverability on this plane. The maneuverability like completely throws you off because 10.6 um, average turn time. That's really good for a multi-roll, right? Um, especially a multi-roll with, with this kind of ground uh, armament on it. So um, it's definitely a heck of a lot more maneuverable than the planes previous to it. Anywho, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. No, it wasn't like uh, next level world beating kind of stuff, but you know, unfortunately at this early in the morning, uh, my games... <laughs> I'm going against bots more than anything else when you're high tier. Maybe I guess I should be playing like tier 6 a little bit more often. But I really wanted to showcase this plane because it is such a good plane. Um, yeah, so keep on grinding, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.